Hello everybody. Xander Perkowski checking in from the fish room. For today's video I want to talk about some of the breeding projects that I have going on here. I have a number of Gideon species that have not bred yet, but I do have females that are gravid, so we will be expecting fry at some point in the near future. So like I said, this video is going to be about anticipated fry. So in the fish room, there are three species specifically that I think are going to be amongst the next to drop, and that's what I'm going to focus on today. Um, in this tank is Scyphia multipunctata tangan sicuro is the location. And in here there's three females that look to be gravid. Um, there's one right there. Get her in focus. So you can see the gravid spot towards her back. She's rounding out. Um, there's this other one over here. Dark gravid spot, again rounding out. Much thicker in body, especially when you compare to the male. There's a male right behind. You can see the females have a much, much thicker body. But with a gestational period of about two months, these guys have looked gravid for a little while now, so I would expect that they would be producing sometime soon. If you saw that flexing of the mouth that they did, it's an interesting feature of, of fish that are referred to as teleosts. They can actually telescope their mouth parts out. And it's, it's actually pretty interesting. But anyway, story for another time. This right here, like I said, Scyphia multipunctata. And we'll see when these guys drop their young. If you guys want to leave a comment below about which of the three species you think is, is actually going to be first, we'll get to the next one now. Alright, and in this tank is where I have what I've been calling Xenotoca doadrioi, although it very well could be Xenotoca lion's eye. Um, all the fish are still maturing. They're still all less than eight months old, but I do have gravid females in here, specifically this one right here, where you can see the eyes. If we can get her in focus, there you can see eyes and her gravid spot. She's looking nice and round as a male. Swimming around. These guys are so active. Anyway, there's another female that's not nearly as round, but we'll see when these guys drop. So this is the second of the three species. You can just say Xenotoka in the comments if you think the Xenotoka is going to be the first one to drop. Species as of yet undetermined, but I love these guys, always so active. Non-stop. Love it, love it. On to the next species. Alright, and here we have the third Gadeed species. This is Alatoka de Gezi from Rancho Molino. This was collected by Rick Borstein, or it's uh, the original fish were collected by Rick. Uh, he's the president of the Chicago Library Society. And there's a male and there's another female right there. You can see the females have gravid spots and are pretty dark and have rounded out considerably. So, uh, that's not the, the, the rounder one. Here we go. See, she's a lot rounder. This is the bumblebee gadeed. I think they're super interesting, and these guys more than some of the others 
love to hover and they spend a lot of time hiding this plant. So I do think when they drop their fry, I will have no idea. <laughs> but still feel free to vote for them um, if you think that they'll be next. See the female just disappeared in there. I can find the male again. Okay, female coming back out. They're in here with um, Xiphophorus variatus. There's a female, another one to the back. Here's the male, if I can get a good shot of him. There he goes. Again, with a lot of these fish, they're pretty quick. There's a nice, a nice large marigold variatus. Those are a domestic strain. Oh, there's the male. Get a nice view of him. See, he's a beauty. Love it, love it. But anyway, so three Gideon species. It's Scyphia multipunctata, Xenotoca doadrioi, or lion's eye, and then the Alatoca degezi. You can call them by their common names. Uh, speckled sawfin <laughs> is the Scyphia, or just call it Scyphia if you want to vote for them. Um, Xenotoca for the doadrioi. And then these guys, you can just say bumblebee if you think the bumblebees will be the next one to, to drop fry. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing the comments, and I'll check in with you guys soon when I actually get fry from these guys. So anyway, hope everyone has a wonderful week.